Let's knit this bulky daisy together. It's very simple, just takes a few minutes, and it can be used to embellish almost anything. This particular pattern will appear shortly in Country Knitting of Maine News and Views. I've already hung my weighted cast-on rag, which I showed you how to make in another video. You really don't have to have this little gizmo for this project, but it was handy and I'm going to use it. Um, claw weight will work just fine. Now we're going to cast on four. We could have cast on without having a weight already hung, but it'll make it easier for me to do on camera. I've also separately knotted a loop of main yarn, a short length, and I'm going to hand the, hang it on either needle two or three. And now at the normal stitch size for this yarn, for me that's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Reach down, find that loop of yarn, and if you used needle two last time, hang the loop on needle three this time, and twelve more rows. Now we'll reach down, find the same loop. It's easy to locate because we have a knot and some yarn tails to go by. This time hang it on needle two. We're going to alternate back and forth, two, three, two, three. With it hung, we repeat 12 rows. My 12 rows are complete. Find my loop, hang again. Knitting 12 rows again. So we have one, two, three petals. I've just knitted the fourth, which will be completed when we hang this. So we do the whole thing one more time. That's two rows. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the five petals we want. Now I need to change colors. I'm going to break this yarn, leaving about a foot of yarn tail, because we'll use that to finish the flower. Color two will be the center of the flower, just eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And bind off. Transfer bind off is easy to do in this instance, so I will. And we will also leave a good sized yarn tail of the blue to finish up with. And now get this off of the machine, pull the last loop all the way through. Let me get this waste yarn off. I tied my ravel cord in a bow to keep it from shifting. So I'll release that, pull it out, and here's what we have. The flower is basically finished, but obviously it needs tidying up. So we'll go get a yarn needle and proceed. I've threaded a main color yarn tail into a needle. I'm going to get these petals organized and stitch them together as they are already fastened, but more securely. Working on the back side first. Make five even petals. And of course, it's almost impossible not to get them even because we hung every 12 rows, so each segment is predetermined to be the same length. Coming together, now straight through. This is the loop that we hung. We no longer need those yarn tails. I can trim them pretty close, not so close they'll ravel. 
and have this stuff cover it. I also want to pull this and this extra yarn tail to the back side. This crochet hook should help me do that. I want to leave the yarn tail that's on the end of the flower center because I'm going to need to use that. But these need to come to the back. This is the back because the flower center is on the other side. That's how you tell them apart. Now, same process as for the back of the flower. Evenly secure the petals more than they already are from just hanging. In order to have that loop work to keep hanging, it can't be as snug as we want the eventual flower center to be. That's why we've got to go over it again. But there's no guesswork. Okay, they're good. I'm going to stitch through, pull tight, and tie it to these other yarn tails. But I'm not going to snip any of them just yet. Now we'll thread this yarn tail into the needle. You've got some leeway in how you want to arrange your flower center because there's more than enough length. It could just bubble up or you could do what I'm going to do and fold it so that it has a little bit more structure than the bubble, but its fullness is supported by that extra length. Stitch through a couple of times, creating whatever configuration looks cutest to you. I'm satisfied. That's the look I want. So I'm going to remove the needle and make sure that all of the yarn tails are tied together and still not cut them off because I will use these to sew the, or tie really is how I do it, the flower to whatever I want it to be affixed to. Two will go through about a quarter or a half inch away. These two will go through. Then I'll knot them on the back, weave in the excess, and trim the remainder of the excess. And voila, a flower.